Okay, uh, we are into uh, 19.5. This is the last uh, uh, section in chapter 19. So by finishing this today, we should, uh, uh, homework should be due over the weekend, unless something happened with the second class. They're a little bit late. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, we should have a homework over the weekend. And uh, do you guys have any exams next Sunday? Sunday? What is it? Okay, so we make sure that uh, leave the homework till Monday then, open till Monday. Uh, <clears throat> because I know that I don't want to put pressure on you. It's enough already. Type. Uh, what is left even after that will be the uh, two chapters. So we should be done within two or three weeks maximum. Inshallah, I doubt it. Uh, but anyways, we'll show, inshallah. Type. The last thing that we want to talk about today after. Uh, uh, finishing the neutralization reaction. Here we agreed that acid plus a base will produce what, uh, Judy? Acid my base in a neutralization reaction produce what? Huh? Salt and water. Okay, plus water. So that's why today we're going to see how the salts and solution, how they act. That's what we are. Uh, uh, discussing today. So the first thing is describe when a solution of a salt is formed, then whether it's going to be acidic or basic. When we have a strong acid uh, plus strong base, we saw that uh, before uh, last time that this will produce uh, salt and water and it will produce what? I mean, what is the pH of the produced uh, solution here? It is a neutral. That's why it's a neutralization reaction. And uh, the pH is going to be seven when we have a strong acid and a strong base. Now, what we are going to do today is when we have strong acid with weak base or strong base with a weak acid, what will be the, uh, uh, is it going to be acidic or basic and why? This is the first objective that we have to resolve. And the <clears throat> second part of the lecture is about the buffers. A buffer system is basically a solution that uh, adding or will not be affected by adding small or the pH of that solution, as a matter of fact, will not be affected by adding small parts of acids or bases. Uh, as an introduction, if you look at uh, uh, this question here, how is the pH of the blood controlled in the human body? Uh, as per what says in here, that the human body blood has to remain within uh, a certain uh, pH. So it should be between uh, uh, this range uh, or uh, to be close to 7.4 as a matter of fact. Uh, that's what is the pH of your body should be. So if you drink or have something that acidic, then that should drop the, the pH or have something basic. Can you imagine your life like this, that the pH of your blood is going up and then going down? So for that reason, the question is, how is the pH of the blood is controlled? It is controlled by a buffer solution. Subhanallah, يعني, uh, Rabna wada fi al blood, uh, something that is, when we describe the buffer, you're gonna see that there are a couple of uh, uh, materials that are found always in your blood that will keep your the pH of your blood from going up or going down as a result of adding small amounts of acids and bases. Otherwise, the pH of our blood will be up and down as we eat different things. So uh, the uh, pH is controlled to answer this question. Uh, the blood of the human body is controlled by a buffer system. We'll, we will see the details when it comes there. Let's go to the uh, salt solution. When we have acid plus base, regardless of the strength, whether strong or weak or whatever, when they react, they produce, as we said, salt and water. So that is uh, what will happen is what we call a salt hydrolysis. Salt hydrolysis will happen. What is the meaning of hydrolysis? Hydrolysis, it coming from uh, the water itself, which is separating the water into H and uh, OH. That is called hydrolysis. So, uh, that will produce either acidic or basic solution. That's what we will see how that is uh, happening. In general, the salts, as you know, that are made from uh, any salt is a unique compound that is made from anion and cation, okay? 
So that is uh, usually the case. Now, where is the cation is coming from and where is the anion is coming from? Yani, for example, if you react ammonia as a base plus hydrochloric acid, that will make NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. That is eventually as NH4 plus, plus Cl minus. Now look, where's the Cl minus, which is the anion is coming from? It's coming from the acid. So the anion is coming from the acid. And where's the cation is coming from? That is coming from the base. And that is by definition of Bronsted and Lowry definition, which says that acid is the one which is donating a proton. Now, when donating a proton, it will become negative. That is will forming, uh, that's why it's forming an ion. Uh, and the acid, the base, I'm sorry, is the one which is accepting a proton. Now, accepting a proton is gonna make a cation. So that's why the cation is coming from a base and the anion is coming from the acid. When we have a solution uh, of many salts uh, are neutral, most of them. When we have salt like this, most of them are neutral, except when we have uh, something that is made from a uh, strong acid and weak base. Now let's take a look at this standard solution. Now we can, uh, the um, pH is measured using a, 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 you know, an indicator and that's why they have different colors. But this one is acidic and it is made from ammonium chloride. So a solution of ammonium chloride is basically a, a, an acidic. And when we have sodium chloride, it is neutral. And when we have sodium ethanoate, that is a basic. Now the question is why this is acidic and that one is a basic and why this one is a neutral. That's what we are going to see. Now the middle one almost is clear why it is a neutral because all the acid is being consumed and all the base is being consumed and they are producing a neutral solution. And that is coming usually from a strong acid with a strong base. Sodium chloride is formed from the reaction of hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid, along with sodium hydroxide, which is also a strong base. But this guy here, as I showed you in the previous slide, ammonium chloride is formed from ammonia and hydrochloric acid. Now, what is ammonia? It's a weak base. And what is the acid, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid? So this is coming from strong acid with weak base. And that's why it is acidic. Now, it is not because this is from gas. No, we will show you now that is not due to this. It is due to the uh, salt hydrolysis that is we are going to talk about. Here, this is ammonium uh, uh, sodium ethanoate. Of course, that is coming from uh, sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid. Now, this is a weak acid and that is a strong base. So in general, we can say that when we have, now I will explain why later on, but the rule, it says that when you have a strong acid with a strong base, the salt that is formed is a neutral one. When you have a strong acid with a weak base, it is acidic. And whenever it is a strong base with a weak acid, it is basic. But that is not because we are having a strong base and something left, no everything will be consumed, but because of the salt hydrolysis. So what is the meaning of the salt hydrolysis? That we are going to see. Now, take a look at this acid-based titration. You remember? Yeah, now you know what titration means. And we talked actually about this curve here. This purple one, we already discussed that. That is a strong acid with a strong base. And we said that we start with a low pH and the pH start rising. There will be a sharp rise here. And then the end point is happening at exactly seven. So if we stop at that point where the number of moles of acids is equal to the number of moles of base, that is a pH of seven for strong acid with a strong base. So when we have something like that, but if we do a titration between sodium hydroxide is being added into a weak acid, which is uh, uh, the one that is uh, the ethanoic acid, then in that case, we notice that the end point is becoming basic. So uh, having the sodium hydroxide used to neutralize a weak acid, then the pH of the neutral of the equivalence point or the end point is basic, which is what we saw in the previous slide, that the salt that is, or the salt solution that is made from 
a strong base with a weak acid is basic. That's what we have seen in there. You see, so this is a weak acid. It's a weak acid. With sodium hydroxide, they produce this one, which is sodium ethanoate. As per the previous slide, we saw that sodium ethanoate, it is basic. So having a strong acid with a weak base, that is uh, a strong base with a weak acid that is going to be uh, basic. Having hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide, that is going to produce sodium hydroxide, uh, sodium chloride, and that is going to be neutral. That is the one which we have seen over here. Why? Because we have formed the Cl minus and the Na plus. So this is an Na plus and this is Cl minus. That's what we have in solution. Now these two, none of them can, this one cannot uh, react with, uh, uh, you know, a negative one to form, uh, to form a base, it's not re neither the other one. But if you look at the reaction of the, of the uh, sodium hydroxide with the ethanoic acid, you're gonna notice again that the equivalence point is basic. So why that is uh, different? Because of something called, again, salt hydrolysis. So what is the meaning of salt hydrolysis and how that is making the pH uh, uh, basic or acidic? The cations are, or the anions from the dissociated salt remove the hydrogen ion from or denote a hydrogen ion. What does that mean? Alina, let's write the equation again. So we have sodium hydroxide reacts with a weak acid, which is COOH, to produce a sodium ethanoate, CO minus Na plus, plus water. Right? So that is a salt and water. Now, take a look at this salt. According to the definition of the salt hydrolysis, it says that the cations or the anion of the dissociated salt. So this salt, as a matter of fact, will be existing as the anion, which is the ethanoate, and the sodium ion, right? So one of them, as a matter of fact, is going to react with the water in order to hydrolyze it. So the, one of those, which is either the cation and or the anion, in this case, it is the anion of the dissociated salts, have to remove a hydrogen ion from something or donate a hydrogen to something. In this case, it is the water that is available. So what will happen is that this ethanoic acid or ethanoate, I'm sorry, it's going to react with the water to grab a hydrogen. Now, when water hydrolyzed, meaning that the hydrogen is being taken from it, then it will produce what? What is left if you have uh, H2O to be hydrolyzed? We're gonna give an H plus plus, watch minus, right? This H plus has been taken by the ethanoic acid or the ethanoate. So that will form ethanoic acid and the OH minus is going to be formed. And that is the reason why the solution is basic. Let me show you this in the next slide. So salt that produces acidic solution, they have a positive ion that is releasing a hydrogen to the water. That is different. Now, the one which we just did applies over here, which is the basic salt. Remember again, that this salt, which is plus and minus, sodium ethanoate is basic. Why it is basic? Because salt that produces basic solution have a negative an ion, which is this one, that, uh, uh, attract hydrogen ion from the water. When that happens, so if you put this in water, what will happen is that this will produce CH3COOH. It says here that it will attract a hydrogen from that. It will replace the, it will go to the anion. And then what is left after that from the water is OH minus. And that is the reason why it is basic. So, when we have a strong a base with a weak acid, the solution formed is basic, not because we have a strong base, but because the anion of the salt can grab a hydrogen from the water in a water hydrolysis and produce the hydroxide ion, okay? You can see that in the common equation, here it is. So 
This is the sodium methane weight. In water, it will separate into two. Uh, that is typical. Any ionic material, if you put it in water, it will separate into plus and minus, right? Now, what will happen is that this minus anion will hydrolyze the water and will grab a hydrogen. When that happens, what is left from the water? OH minus. And that is the one which is causing the solution to be basic. Now, if you do the other hand, uh, you know, why we're doing uh, the uh, hydrolysis because of the hydrogen ion split of the water. That is what happened in the case of the basic solution. Now we're gonna look at the ammonium chloride, which is this one. Now this has been formed from hydrochloric acid plus ammonia. What is hydrochloric acid? That is a strong acid. And that is a weak base. And according to the pH solution that we looked over there, this is acidic solution. So now we are gonna understand why it is acidic. The same thing, we have a positive cation that is forming from the ammonium chloride. This will hydrolyze the water. So this is plus water. It will give the water a hydrogen, not to attract from it. So that will produce what? Produce ammonia after losing the hydrogen plus the H3O plus. What is this one? That is uh, uh, H plus, right? So in this way, that's why this is acidic solution. So it is acidic not because we have a strong acid, but because the cation will add or will donate a hydrogen to the water to produce hydronium ion. Okay? So uh, that's why, this is what happened. This is the positive ion, reacts with the water to produce hydronium ion, and that is, makes the solution acidic. Okay, now let me just take you back over here, because now with these two equations, I hope that you understand what is the meaning of these two sentences. So when we have a salt that is formed from a reaction of acid and base, depending on that salt, whether that salt, of course, the salt is made from an ion that is coming from the acid and cation that is coming from the base. We agree about that, right? So the anion or the cation, depending on which one we are forming, one of them is going to hydrolyze the water. The one which is an ion that is coming from a weak acid, like the ethanoate, like this one, with a negative here, that will hydrolyze the water into ethanoic acid plus OH minus. And that is the one which is making the solution basic. So sodium ethanoate is basic solution. Why, while if we have a salt that produces acidic solution, like the ammonium chloride, because it has ammonium and Cl minus. The ammonium is with the plus sign. So it is willing to donate a hydrogen to the water to make the hydronium ion, and that is making the solution acidic. Now, this is uh, the conclusion of all of this is uh, summarized in here, which is strong acid with a strong base will produce what? Neutral solution. When we have a strong acid with a weak base, that is acidic solution. And when we have a weak acid with a strong base, that is basic solution. Now, as far as the memorizing this or knowing the answer, it is very easy because every time you have a strong something, strong acid, then produced a strong, uh, uh, it will be acidic. Strong base, uh, it will make basic. But again and again, that is not the reason why it is basic. Not because we have a strong acid, but because of the salt hydrolysis that we showed you. Okay, now if, if you really want to convince me that you understand this, okay. Big one, Faisal Hussein, okay. All right, if you really understand what we said, you should answer this question. Which says here, does the fact that a weak acid with a strong base titration is basic means that some base left over at the equivalence point 
Let me explain. I know that it is difficult to, uh, if we are doing a titration, okay, we have here a flask with uh, a weak acid. And we have here a strong base. Or let's put it the other way. Uh, let's make the base over here. So we have here a strong base and we are titrating this with a weak acid. We finish and we reach the equivalence point. We stop. We measure the pH and we found it to be basic. Okay, this is a basic pH after that. Now, is this being basic because some of the strong base is left over? Then what is the reason? When we have a salt that is made from an ion and cation, right? It depends on the cations and the ion. One of them, what, I mean, each salt will have an anion or a cation that is willing to hydrolyze the water. Now, if it is an ion, like the ethanoate, it will hydrolyze the water to produce hydroxide. That will make it basic. If it is ammonium chloride, then the ammonium will hydrolyze the water by donating a hydrogen, producing hydronium ion, and that will make it acidic. So it is basic, not because something is left. Why, how it could be left? We said that a titration. When we do a titration, we reach a point where all the acids and all the base has been consumed. That is the meaning of equivalence point. Didn't we agree last time that the equivalence point is the point at which the number of moles of hydrogen ion is equal to the moles of hydroxide ion? So madallish acid basic. It is basic due to the salt hydrolysis, which we uh, just we are discussing today. So the answer is no. It is not because something left. All of the acids and base has been converted to salt solution. But the solution is basic because the salt hydrolyzes. And whenever it hydrolyzes, the salt has a negative ion that attracts the hydrogen from the water. When the negative ion attracts a hydrogen from the water, it will produce what? Hydroxide ion. And that is the reason why it is basic. OK? So I hope that this is, again, at the end of the day, you can uh, uh, go back to that slide where it says strong acid with a strong base that produce no neutral. Strong acid with a weak base will make it acidic and strong base with a weak acid will make it basic. This is, that's fine, but you should be able to explain it. Why it is like that, why the basic is basic and the acidic is acidic. Not because we are having a strong of each one, but because we have what we call salt hydrolysis. That's the conclusion that I want you to reach. Hmm? طيب أنا خلاص I got your point هلا بدي تضطريني أرجعك على إشي uh, something here to show you what exactly uh, إحنا ما بنقدر نقول كلام هذا الافتراض تبعك افتراض مش مش يعني زي ما نقول خيالي لأنه إحنا we are doing titration وين راح الفجر هذا تبع ال here على رأيك أنت بتقولي لو ما وصلوش لا ما كانوش equivalent زي بعض صح؟ يعني هون مثلا اي بوينت هذا الكيرف هون اتس جوين تو بي اسيدك لانه ما وصلنا للكوفلنس احنا بنحكي عن واي ذا كوفلنس بوينت هير از بيسك واي ذا كوفلنس بوينت هير از از نيوترال سو ذات ايماجينري سيتويشن ذات يو توكن اباوت ذاتس نوت وي ار نوت ديسكسنج اكيد اذا استخدمنا سترونج اسيد وذ ويك بيس اند وي ديد نوت ريتش ذا كوفلنس بوينت اتس جوين تو بي اسيدك شيء طبيعي صح؟ But if we continue to the equivalence point معناها كل الهيدروجين and all the hydroxide has been consumed. But why it is basic or acidic? Due to the salt hydrolysis. Do you understand now? أكيد؟ طيب. Uh, 
all right. So let's let's go to the uh, second part of the lecture, which is about the buffers. Now, the buffers also uh, is something that is you need to focus in order to understand that. First of all, you have to understand the meaning of a buffer. Any buffer. In order to understand that, خلينا نأخذ هاي experiment. If we add, suppose that we add 10 milliliters of 0.1 mol, uh, molar sodium hydroxide to one liter of pure water. And the quarter, okay? Add a one liter of H2O. If you measure the pH, where is expected the pH? If it is pure water, ما في أي شو بتكون ال pH هنا? pH is equal to seven. لو ضفنا عليها بس 10 milliliters, which is small amount of a very dilute solution, اللي هو 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. What will happen to the pH? It will rise. من من وين it will rise? من أربعة to uh, يعني uh, uh, it will rise uh, four points. I'm sorry, from seven to eleven. That's a lot. Oh yeah, it's a base. We're adding a, a base, even though it is a small amount, but we are adding this to a pure water, so the pH will jump from seven to eleven. Okay, so that is. Then do the same experiment. But this time, we are not going to add pure water. We are going to add 10 milliliters. We will have a solution that contains 0.2 molar of uh, ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoic. So, يعني the one liter of water is not pure water. It contains ethanoic acid, which is a weak acid, and sodium ethanoate. شو العلاقة بين هذا وهذا؟ السوديوم ethanoate is the salt of ethanoic acid مزبوط ولا لا؟ مش هو السولت تبعه؟ واي بتطلع في السوديوم كلوريد مين جاي؟ مش من السوديوم هيدروكسيد اند هيدروكلوريك اسيد؟ طيب والسوديوم ethanoate هو جاي من originally من ethanoic acid it is the salt of ethanoate هذا السوليوشن موجود هذا الميكستشر الان وي ويل دو ذا سيم اكسبيرمنت ويتش از ادينج 10 مليليترز اوف ذا سيم ثينج اوف صوديوم هيدروكسيد ونلاحظ انه ذا بي اتش انكريزز 0.01 بوينتس بس ما تغيرت كثير ذس از ا فيري فيري سمول تشين تغيرت من 4.67 تو 4.77 because it's a buffer <laughs> that's what we're coming to oh okay so if we have a pure water there's nothing in there and we add certain amount of a base it's طبيعي in the ph to jump صح بينما if we add to that solution a weak acid and it's salt عشان هيك انا كنت مركز على relation between the ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoic that is a weak acid and it's salt لما يكون في عندنا system like this which is a weak acid and it's salt and we add a small amount of a base the pH is not going to change so this is relatively a small change in the pH so what is the difference between the first experiment and the second experiment is the presence of this combination اللي هو weak acid and it's salt بغض النظر ممكن يكون any other weak acid not necessarily this one but this is was an example so but in general we can describe هذا اللي هو 0.2 molar of ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate as an acid, a weak acid, and it's salt. So whenever we have something like that, هذا, the amount of the change in the pH would have to be uh, also very small, if, even if you add acid. So I lift Ali acid, well, I lift Ali base, the pH is not going to change because we have what we call a buffer system. What is a buffer system then? It is defined as a solution in which the pH remains fairly constant. It will change, but very, very small. Change when a small amount of an acid or base added to it. Is that clear? Our blood is buffered, means that it contains a solution in your blood that adding a small amount of acid or adding a small amount of base is not going to make the uh, jump in the pH and, and the great change in the pH. That system is called the buffer solution. So the buffer solution, again, it is a solution 
where the pH remains fairly constant. شوف هو ما قال لك constant لأنه constant that's not true. أنا شوفنا هناك إنه تغيرت من 0.467 maybe to 4.77. So there was a change. There was a change, but that change is very little. That's why he says fairly constant. It's not always constant, but fairly constant. بعدين إيش? When we added small amount of a strong acid or base. مش تروح تضيف 10 لتر of base على buffer وتقول إنه ال pH has to remain. No, there is a limit for that. It has to be something small. رح نأخذ هذا الموضوع. طيب. A buffer is a solution of what? Of a weak acid and one of its salts or a weak base and one of its salts. يعني يا أما بكون مثلا CH3 COH that is a weak acid along with sodium ethanoate أو potassium ethanoate or uh, whatever uh, lithium ethanoate هذول عشان يقول لك one of its salt مش بالضروري يكون صوديوم يعني ممكن يكون any other thing as long as it is ethanoate So weak acid and one of its salts, or a weak base like ammonia, مثلا, and one of its salts, uh, ammonium chloride, مثلا, uh, Cl, or ammonium bromide, ammonium iodide, ammonium whatever fluoride. Okay, so uh, ammonium hydroxide could be. So any of those, any combination like this, which is having. A weak acid and one of its salt, or a base, a weak base and one of its salt, had a system like this. We call that a buffer solution. Show you any buffer? It is a solution that the pH will remain fairly constant when you add a small amount of acids and bases. الحين عاد راح نشوف how it works, why it is doing that. ليش? شو هالموجود في هالكومبينيشن هاي that absorb that amount of acid اللي في حالة ال 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 pure water when we added that the pH jumps ليش لأنه ما في إشي to absorb there's only pure water for until you are adding sodium hydroxide يعني you are increasing the hydroxide ion this means the thicker the KW معنا adding more hydroxide will make the hydronium ion or the H plus less when the pH is less then The, uh, when the H is less, then the pH will become less or more, depending on what you are adding, right? So let's see how this works. This is just an example to show you what is the difference between a buffer and unbuffered. This is unbuffered and this is buffered. So يعني unbuffered يعني ما فيش في buffer. وهذا في buffer system. When we add to that 10 milliliters or 1 milliliters, as a matter of fact, Of one molar HCl, شوف شو صار. هذا تغير لونه الأصفر، وهذا ظل اللون نفس الشيء. Which means that in the case of the buffered, the pH did not change, while in the unbuffered, the, it is is changed. So you can see that even with your eyes, with using an indicator, you can see that how the unbuffered solution. Why we need this uh, as a kind of system? Sometimes. You run a chemical reaction that is require your pH to be within certain range. يعني في بعض الreactions they cannot be run at high pH. لازم at certain pH. خلينا نقول at seven point five. How are you gonna stop it or make it fairly constant to seven point five? You're gonna add a system, a buffer system in there that when you run your reaction, nothing is gonna change. The pH will remain at that at that range. Or sometimes you need to run a reaction at acidic solution, at 4.6 method. Then in that case, you have to make a buffer solution that will keep it in that range. al rabbani subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is our blood. It is already buffered. So when you eat or uh, something acidic, so that will go to your blood, right? Anything you eat, it goes immediately to your bloodstream. Mazbut. If your blood is not buffered, What will happen that your pH, every time you eat something that basic, if it can 10 milliliters of 0.1 molar, sodium hydroxide رفعته من 7 into 11, تخيل your pH of your blood becomes 11. احنا قلنا لكم في الاول, in order for a human being to survive, the pH has to be remain around 7.4. معناه كان متنا من زمان, كل واحد بكله شوية قاعدية بيروح, وكل واحد بكله شيء حامضي بموت, صح ولا لا? 
but it is being preserved by having a halabergicum, what kind of a buffer system that is. there are actually two buffer systems that found in the blood that will remain or keep the pH of the blood fairly constant regardless of what you eat. Okay? Subhanallah. Inno, يعني, the system of the human body is designed in a way ما في أي غلطة ما في أي كل إشي إلو uh, إلو محسوب حساب. Okay? طيب. إذن, uh, a buffer solution is able to resist drastic change in the pH and uh, that will happen in pure water. A buffer solution contains one ليش هو? Why the buffer how it works, يعني, that's the question. Uh, uh, the buffer system that we're talking about, which is, again, a weak acid and one of its salt, or a weak base and one of its salt, must have a component. Fee mojud a component that can react with hydrogen ion ac acceptor, or, and one that react with the hydroxide ion. فمعناها في two components موجودين في system. When we add an acid, it will react with it. تمتصوا كأنها سبونج موجودة في داخل السولوشن it will absorb whatever you add عشان هيك the pH is not affected alright or uh, it will react with the base if you add a base and it will absorb it. طيب خلينا نشوف شو هذول الكومبوننتس يعني these components act as a reservoir of neutralizing power for the uh, that can be tapped either hydrogen ion or hydroxide خلينا نشوف what is one of the equation Let's take one example, which is the ethanoic acid, with sodium ethanoate. This system, what kind of components are there? What is in this system? Let's say that we have H+. We have put 0.1 molar of, or 1 milliliter of 0.1 molar HCl. What does that mean? We are adding H+. الاتش بلس راح تيجي تتفاعل مع هذا ولا مع هذا؟ اكيد راح تتفاعل مع هذا. صح؟ اذا when we add an H plus the C ethanoate act as a hydrogen sponge كانه سفنجه بتسحب كل الهيدروجين. فالهيدروجين that we added it will react with the ethanoate and it will produce ethanoic acid. طب الاثنوك اسيد شو هو؟ It's already there يعني الـ pH مش راح تتغير. ففي الحالة هاي we use the ethanoate in order to absorb the extra H plus that we have added. طيب what about if I add a base? لو ضفت OH minus مع مين راح تتفاعل مع هذا كمان مرة ولا مع الأسد نفسه؟ راح تتفاعل مع الأسد نفسه ال weak acid. طيب ال OH minus اللي أنا ضفتها مع ال weak acid that I have added it will produce sodium ethanoate أو ethanoate لحال. طيب هو الethanoate already موجود. And it is, طبعاً, ethanoate is a conjugate, what? Is a conjugate base. But that conjugate base is very weak. فما راح تغير الـ pH كمان مرة. إذن, the two components that are there, the weak acid and the salt of that weak acid, they will act as a sponge. They will absorb anything that you add, as long as it is a reasonable amount, of course. So if you add a reasonable amount of the H, plus or an OH minus, it will be absorbed, and that's why the pH is not affected. Okay, so that's the way it works. Okay, so if we add a hydrogen ion, it will react with the ethanoic and will produce ethanoic acid. And ethanoic acid, again, is a weak acid, and that is not going to change the pH. But if we don't have this, we water only, that with H plus will produce hydronium ion. And that, of course, will drop the pH. So, I will allow. Then, this is the difference between having a buffer, which contains the ethanoate and ethanoic acid, and the one which is a pure water, does not have anything. Adding H plus will definitely drop the pH. Bainama, wujud, hadola system, it will absorb whatever you add, and the pH will remain fairly constant. If you add a hydroxide ion, it will react with, with the acid, and that will produce ethanoate. Ethanoate is a Weak conjugate base, and that's why it's not going to change the death and weight is not a strong enough base to accept the hydrogen ion from the water to create extent. Therefore, the reserve, uh, the reverse reaction is minimal, and the change in the pH is very slight. Okay, so now we understand what is the definition of 
a buffer solution. It is a solution that will remain fairly constant, the pH, when we're adding small amounts of acids and bases. What is made from? It is made from a weak acid and one of its salt, or a weak base and one of its salt. We saw now how it works. If you add, for example, a weak acid and one of its salt, like sodium uh, ethanoate with ethanoic acid, if you add an H+, plus, the H+, plus will react with the ethanoate and will form ethanoic acid, and that is a weak acid, so the pH is not going to change. If you add a base, then it will react with the acid and will form the ethanoate, and that is a weak conjugate base that is not going to change the uh, pH. طيب, نرجع للبلد كمرة. The equilibrium between carbonic acid, هذا another system. نقولنا إنه البافر system contains a weak acid and one of its salt. بس مش معنى ذلك إنه always has to be ethanoic acid, sodium ethanoate. So, if we have something like this, هذا شو carbonic acid. The carbonic acid is classified as weak acid. And hydrogen carbonate, هذا هو salt كبار. اللي هو after losing the hydrogen, uh, helps keep the pH of the blood within a narrow range. يعني your blood is kept uh, at a pH of 7.35 to 7.45, and that is needed for you to survive because you have one of those systems. There's another one, by the way, the phosphate also. But the carbonic acid is the one which is responsible. So we'll look, if the pH rises, molecules of carbonic acid donate a hydrogen ion. What happens if the pH drops? That is, if H plus is increases. يعني لو أنا جيت على البلد هذا and I added H plus من أي نوع من أنواع الأكل. What will happen? The H plus هذا that you added, it will react with which one? مع هذا ولا مع هذا? With the salt. So this will react with the HCO3 minus. It will produce what? It will produce H2CO3 minus uh, HCO3, and that is already there, and that is a weak acid. So that's why what happens if the pH drops, that is, if the H plus increases, what will happen is that uh, the H plus will react with the uh, salt and form the carbonic acid. لو كان في عنا OH minus, then that will react with the acid itself, with the H2CO3. And it will produce HCO3 minus, which is already there and it is a weak conjugate base. Okay, so that is what usually you write hydrogen carbonate ion can accept a hydrogen ion when the pH drops, and that's why it's not going to drop. And the pH will remain fairly constant at 7.35 to 7.45 due to the presence of this system. Okay. Always we say that we add small amount. We add one liter of that. That's why there is something called the limits. So there's a buffer solution has their own limits. يعني كل buffer system إلو حد معين. If you exceed it, لا ببطل يحافظ يقدر to keep the pH constant. So that amount which is that can be used without altering the pH اسمها the uh, buffer uh, limit or the maximum limit of that. So at that point, the buffer can no longer be controlled the pH. If it adds to the limit, okay? Then the whole buffer system has uh, amount of acids and base that you can be added, can be determined يعني, and can be tabulated. So the buffer capacity, the, the buffer capacity is the amount of acid and base that can be added to a buffer solution before a significant change has happened. Is that also understood? What is the buffer capacity, Eileen? What is buffer capacity? It is the amount of acids and bases that you can add before you can make it. Let me give you Somebody that is, uh, يعني, uh, can, uh, um, مثلا, when you, want to tease somebody and you تستفزه صح؟ في حد معين في ناس بقول لك هذا الزلمه whatever او هذا الشخص لا 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 <تصفيق> whatever you do to him ما بتغير فيه بارد يعني يسوي ما تعمل قدامه ما بسوي فيه يعني he's not gonna react مضبوط؟ هذا is like a buffer ما بتاثرش في الاشياء هذه بس في له حد معين اذا اذا وصلت للحد هذا هي بثور عليك 
اوكي هذا هو الحد اللي اسمه البفر كاباسيتي البفر ات ويل كيب ذا بي اتش فيرلي كونستانت از يو اد سيرتن اماونت اوف اسيدز اند بيسز بس هذه الاسيد البيسز مش انليمتد قد ما بدك تضيف نو ذيز ا ليميت بس تو تعدى هذا الليميت بخرب العمليه بطل البفر قادر على انه تو كيب ذا بي اتش فيرلي كونستانت So that limit or that amount is called buffer capacity, which is how much material or how much acid and base you can add while keeping the pH fairly constant. بعد هيك ما بقدر يعني أنت نرجع للشخص المستفز هذا منقول إنه تقدر إنك مثلاً تسب عليه بدون ما تستفز. بس إذا حكيت عن دينه مثلاً لا هذا بالنسبة له خط أحمر. Okay. فهذا منقول هذا ال ال الكاباسيتي تبعته هو الخط الاحمر تبعه هو الدين احكي عليه شخصيا ما عنده مشكله سب عليه اضربه الى اخره هيز نوت جونا رياكت حتى بس اذا بتجيب سيره دينه بزعل منك اذا بنقول الكاباسيتي تبعته هي لها علاقه بهذا الموضوع ذات از ذا سيم ثينج البافر كان كيب ذا بي اتش فيرلي كونستانت از لونج از يو اد سيرتن اماونت اوف اسيد اف يو اكسيد ذات اماونت البطل ينفع اذا ذات اماونت از كول ذا بافر كاباسيتي هاو ماتش يو كان طيب احنا تعدينا الوقت بس uh, I have to finish this part لأن uh, this will يعني finish the whole uh, chapter so this is one of the system buffer name مثلا ethanoic acid مع ethanoic ion في عندك dihydrogen phosphate مع hydrogen ion like this one كل هذول buffer system مع ال pH عشان هيك انت بتقدر تختار if you want to run your reaction at around 7 you choose this one بدك اشي around 9 you choose this one With the issue around 4.6, you choose that one. So you choose your buffer solution uh, that you need to use uh, depending on that. طبعا هذه بس equations just showing you uh, write a balanced chemical equation to show how the car I already did that way, which is carbonic acid, hydrogen carbonate. كيف بتفعله هذول مع الأسيد البيس اللي هي this one. The uh, carbonic acid HCO3 تفعل مع البيس if we add a base to produce. Uh, HCO3 minus لانه بياخذ uh, بيعطي hydrogen plus water and that is already there or uh, the HCO3 minus will react with the H plus that you added to produce the H2CO3 and that is already there which is uh, that, these are the two equations that he's asking you to write okay I'm just going to show it to you this is the first one Reacting with the base producing what? Hydrogen carbonate, and that is already there, and that is a weak base. And uh, having this with the H plus will produce carbonic acid, and that is a weak uh, base. How is the work? Uh, the uh, how is the work of buffer is similar to neutralization. It is a neutralization reaction basically, because every time you add an H plus, you neutralize it with one of the components, or if you add watch minus, you neutralize it with the So it is an acid-based neutralization reaction. That's it. Okay. يعني هذا الموضوع شوي you need to pay attention to it. So you need to review it again. When we come back on Sunday, inshallah, if you still have a question, though, and assuming that you're gonna study chemistry over the weekend, which is not the case, and you do the biochemistry. Anyways, whenever you have a question, you don't hesitate to come and ask me. Okay. طيب. Any questions? Anything? All right. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, and again, I'm going to upload the homework for those who are interested to do it. Or maybe we'll leave it till Sunday. As a matter of fact, I'll leave it Sunday. Let's put it Sunday and you guys do it after the biochemistry. This is better, okay? And I'm happy to do it. Okay? Okay. Wish you a nice weekend and good luck with, uh, with your uh, uh, biochemistry exam.